Welcome back to Mediocre Gamers, this is Crimson. Um, this video is going to be for the person who just started tabletop, doesn't really know exactly all the little things, and wants to know how to use it. So if you're here for the Champions mod, you're going to hit create, hit single player, and you're not going to have these right here. So you're going to click on workshop and go to browse. And then just type in Marvel Champions. And you're going to see a couple mods on here. Um, this one right here is one of my mods. It is a large table. It is meant for a lot of, you know, four to five people. Um, download this one if you're interested in having a lot of space. Um, but the one that you're going to be looking for is either Marvel Champions LCG or there is another one out there called Marvel Champions LCG Preview. Uh, this one is not mine, but, you know, I download both and try them both out. But we're going to be working with mine today. So once you click on it, go to subscribe, add to your favorites. Um, if you're looking for games, you can click here for the Discord. We have lots of people on there. You could easily find a game. So once you have it subscribed, it is now going to be in your list here. So let's click on it. And we're gonna load it. So you're gonna see this first and it may feel a little overwhelming, especially if you've never used tabletop, never tried this mod out your first thing you're really going to want to do is build a deck. So here's all the cards over here. These are the nemesis cards, and these are the signature cards, and these are the hero cards. There's two different heroes up here. So let's say you wanted to play Iron Man because everybody wants to play Iron Man, right? You grab one of the heroes. The difference between these two heroes is the top one is a flip hero. So you hit F to flip back and forth. The second one is not a flip hero, it is state based. Um, I prefer state based, some people like the flip, it's really personal preference. With state based what you'll do is you'll hit 2 for, for Iron Man or you'll hit 1 for Tony Stark. What this does is when you flip between the two states the card doesn't move on the table like that. See how it flips up and jumps around? I don't personally like that so I go with the state based. One of the things you're going to want to really look at is make sure your turn degrees up here is set to 90 and your lift height is set all the way down. So when it's set like that I can lift it up it just comes off the table just a little bit. It's probably going to be set somewhere like that. Look how far it lifts off the table and it's very hard to figure out where it's gonna fall. You can see the shadow, but sometimes it's not easy to, like it's easier to see the shadow there than it is here. Also, you might not want it to drop that far down because it's, it is kind of hard to place it where you want it. So bring that lift down. Okay. Now the next part is building a deck. So you're gonna grab your hero most people are going to choose the flip hero that, you know, it is cool. Um, then, no, oh, I guess we're doing Iron Man, aren't we? Uh, basics of, of deck building. Now, as of this moment, I don't have the starter decks that they recommend in the, in the rule book here. So the starter deck for Iron Man is Aggression. Also, this is the rule book. An easy way to go on this is page up and page down. You can also use numbers, but unfortunately your keyboard only has one to zero, so you can't do like 10, you know, 12, 13. These are your player reference cards. So 
first phase of of a turn is going to be player phase second phase is going to be villain phase if you follow these steps you'll have no problem playing the game so if you aren't using a starter deck and you just want to build your own deck you grab your character his signature cards and the nemesis cards then you grab your neutrals and you choose an aspect so let's go ahead and do the one that it suggests uh, which is aggression Oof, you know I, I can't do aggression I just can't do it uh, we're gonna do leadership and neutrals okay now say you have more than one person on the table and you both want to build a deck I'll show you how to do that too so actually easiest way to reset is to go to games reload the table boom so just like anything on on Windows control C and control V is copy and paste so control just highlight Tony see how he's white control C control V control C control V control C control V and it just allows you to make a copy of what you have highlighted and creates it uh, it's real easy to make a, a very fast deck here and you just go through add the cards you want doop, 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 doop. doesn't take much time at all right now it doesn't it, it will take longer when there's more and more and more cards but for now it doesn't take long uh, we need four more cards doop, 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 doop. All right, so now we got all these extra cards that we don't want. Just now, just just like any other Windows format, you can click and drag the mouse. Now they're all highlighted with the yellow. If you just hit delete on your keyboard, they're gone. Um, now they are permanently gone. So now that you got your deck and you want to save it, how do you do that? So you're going to hit objects. You're going to go to components. Come down to tools, and then click and drag the bag onto the board and what you're going to do is you're just going to drop these into the bag now you're going to right click on the bag come down to name and name it iron man justice don't hit enter just click off there you go so now we have a bag we have a deck inside the bag the bag is named how do we save it? You're going to right click and you're going to go to save object. And it's going to say root folder, Iron Man save. But we don't want to save it in the root folder. So let's cancel. Let's go to objects, saved objects. And we can create a new folder. We're going to name the new folder um, Tabletop Simulator Test. And now we have a new folder. It says Tabletop Simulator Test right click on it go to save objects and click on the drop down and you'll see your tabletop simulator test um, you should name it champions or Marvel champions but now we've got it saved so if we delete the game and we reload the table and we want to play a game we go to objects saved objects tabletop test and there's our Iron Man justice deck drop it onto the table uh, mouse button zooms and there's all the stuff that we just made so that is how you save a deck and be able to use a deck later okay let's talk about a couple other things on here these are your life counters if you left click it goes up if you right click it goes down say this is small and you want it to be bigger highlight it so we see the white highlight around it and hit the plus button next to the backspace on your keyboard that'll make it bigger and minus makes it smaller now what? next thing 
your villain is in states. So hit one, two, and three. And the, the mission card is also in states. Hit one or two. Threat, to add threat. So say the villain schemes for three. You just go over to the zero, and just like the other counter, left click adds, right click removes. So it gains three threat. There you go. This is his hit points. He starts at 14 per player. If there's two players, then he's at 28. And again, right click adds, left click, I'm sorry, left click adds, right click removes. Okay. This is a trash can, so as you get tokens and other weird stuff going on, um, don't drop them into these bags, because sometimes they can get messed up. Just drop it into the trash can. That just gets gets rid of them. Super simple, super easy. All right, over here we have our play mats. If you right click and go to search, you can see all the components inside of it. So. We want that play mat. That's an Iron Man play mat. Uh, we did not want it to connect that way, but sure. And we're just moving these cards around. Yeah. No. Right, so you got your Iron Man play mat, but you don't want it to move around. So you you place your deck. You know, let's grab our deck. And you place your hero on it. You want to make your hero a little bigger. Go for it. But you go to grab your hero and you accidentally grab the mat. So what you can do is with the mat selected, if you hit L, it locks the mat. So now you can't move the mat. You can't select the mat. Push L again. It unlocks the mat. L to lock or unlock. In this way, say you just want to grab Tony, he's the only thing you can select on the map now. Okay, to flip your deck like that is F. So to flip your hero, if you're using the flip hero, is F. Um, once your deck is face down, if you want to shuffle your deck, it's R. So R shuffles your deck. When you choose a color, so now you have a color. Uh, to draw your six cards, highlight your deck and push the number of the cards you want to draw. So if you want to draw one card, you push one. If you want to draw six cards, you push six. Okay. You just drag the cards. As long as they're close to each other, they'll they'll group up. Goes into your discard pile there. And say so you want to flip this and put it back on top of the deck. You just hit F while holding it. So you're holding it to move, hit F, drop it back on, and you can shuffle it up, draw three more cards. Um, let's see here, also your hand is back here, but tabletop does let you see the hand here, so that way you don't have to be looking at it from this position, you can be up here and be fine. Okay, so you want to group these cards up. You have them all selected. They're all yellow. So you, you, you have them all selected. Hit G, groups them into a pile. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that we have to worry about here. Um, not really. As a new player, I would not suggest you using any of the custom mods that will be there. Um, just play the base Rhino. And also, when you have your deck, you'll have your nemesis, that obligation you're going to pull out. You're going to flip it face down and drop it on top of the deck. Now, notice it's a different size, right? Well, when you drop it on top of the deck, it, can, it gains the size of the deck. So, there's our obligation. It got bigger just by dropping it onto the deck. Oh, let's see here if there's anything else. Um, this is your first player token, so if you're playing with two people, this is the token you're going to move back and forth to indicate who's first player. And I don't know, like, 
I'm thinking maybe I will put the starter decks down here or over here just so that way people have the starter decks available. I, I'm honestly, you, you should be able to make a deck. Um, you know, it, it's real simple. Check out the, my other videos has deck techs. Uh, there's also websites out there. MarvelCDB.com has deck techs also. And then make sure to check out that Discord. If you're looking for a game, jump in there. There's there's a channel called... Uh, uh, what is it called, actually? Um, TTS Games. And you just click on there and say, Hey, anybody up for a game? Most likely, you'll, you'll get a game. Um, if you want to save it. So, say... You've been playing for a while, and you know I don't know. Got you got to take the dog out, right? Or you know your other half or parents are telling you to get off get off the computer, right? And you got your six cards. Uh, you got some stuff out. You know he's got some threat. You've done some damage. Move your bag over here. Move your Nemesis cards over there. But you gotta go. You got you gotta close down. So hit games. Go to save and load, and click create. It's gonna ask you to name it, and now it's there. So, you know, you close the game down, then you come back, you start, you go to create, single player or multiplayer if it's a multiplayer game, and you'll see it says TTS test or whatever you named it. Click on it, and bam, your game state is right back where it was. Takes a little bit to load in. Uh, make sure you choose your color again. And there's your hand, there's everything just as you left it and I think that about covers all the basics perfect if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below or go onto the discord channel and ask us on the discord uh, somebody will always be very happy to you know help you out if you want to learn how to play the game and you don't want to play your first game like just bumbling through it jump on there go to the TTS games and at, you know just yell out be like hey uh, anybody want to demo the game for me somebody you know, will always be happy to help you if I'm there I will be more than happy to run a demo with you and show you how to play the game um, you can also check out my basics video which does pretty much a step-by-step -step on how to play the game but if you want, you know, more interactive, just jump on, jump on to Discord and talk to us. All right, perfect. Thank you. If this video helped you, make sure you hit a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.